guys and welcome back to my channel so this is like so sudden because uh usually i was just gonna shoot a vlog for kale alternative book fest like um uh, i don't know afternoon but then <laughs> i just got word that apparently a certain korean star is coming and like in at a place at a mall that's like 20 minutes away from my home so i'm like yeah i'm going there and then we're gonna go to kale alternative so let's go. We used to have each other's playlists. No, no. We used to be each other's best friends. Yeah. Just a typical weekend at Sunway Pyramid. I bet it's gonna take forever for me to actually find a parking spot. But you know, it's like it's 10 minutes to 11. So I don't know. I'm weirdly optimistic today. Hi, hello, voiceover me popping in. I managed to get a parking pretty easily. Not only that because it's quite early, but I actually went to preferred parking, which is the expensive premium parking, mind you. Haha. <laughs> All because I wanted easy access to entrance. You know, I thought it was early. You know, I was pretty optimistic. Turns out I wasn't at all. The moment I entered the building and heard the noise, I knew I was already too late. But I was not expecting that size of a crowd. I'm already making a mental note like if I ever found out there's an event like this, I'm gonna have to set up camp at dawn. At first I was at the juice works shop. So after a few moments of deciding, you know what, I'm not gonna get any nice shots from here. The only thing I could capture was the screen. So I finally found a place where I can actually capture the stage, which is like the total opposite side of the place. I still couldn't see the stage directly, but my phone could capture the stage at least. So I did, I went there. Much later. Pax Josea became and it was like this random group. I don't even remember who they are. <laughs> Sorry. Two thousand years later. Finally, Pax Jun came. back in the lowlands and uh yeah this is the shot after you know like hours of waiting <laughs> i have to give props for this akka akka you, whoever you are your man is a keeper after I got a shot of Pak so Jun, a very blurry shot of Pak so Jun, <laughs> it, at some point you just gave up and you know, I just exit and went to a popular bookstore to buy myself a mouse. And lunch? I really cannot function. It's like my Achilles heel for work you know, on my laptop or any form of PC whatsoever. And then after that, on our way to KLAB. Let's go. We used to have each other's playlists. No, no. Man, parking in KL Center. I mean, like, they're expensive. Mm. Scarce. So, I have arrived and I have to park slightly far away from Central Market. Uh, because, you know, parking in KL is a bit difficult to find and they are kind of expensive. So then I arrived at Central Market. I was surprised that there's a lot of people there and uh, honestly, these are the list of publications that are available there. There are not only books, but there's also art and a bunch of merchandises that you can purchase. There are like, a lot of cute totes. Uh, I really wish that I could buy them, but I have a lot of tote bags already, so I was just simply <laughs> trying to have some restraints. You can also watch movies. They have, they have movie screenings. Um, there's also so like a lot of art that you can purchase um, I was drawn to this publication I don't know it looks like uh, they're from Indonesia but I don't think so I wasn't sure but they also have like uh, I think the guy that was signing there is actually an author I just couldn't see what book he uh, he signed I got myself some virgin pina colada and also I saw this really cute tote bag <laughs> I really wish I could buy it it's really cute 
um, this is from Dubu, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, I wish I could buy that sticker though. It's definitely useful when someone double parts you. They also have some author session up on the second floor. And uh, it was, I didn't know who it was. The event was packed. There's a lot of choices, not just for books. Also, if you're interested in something else, it's nice to see that it's also drawn a lot of tourists as well, both international and locals. I also went to Legacy Arc Heart, which is the publication of the Booktube Malaysia Society president. And, you know, I also have the uh, opportunity to meet a booktuber from Indonesia, which is really cool. I made my purchases and, you know, I had fun. The thing that I absolutely love about this event is that uh, there's cashless options which is thank god because i did not bring a lot of cash afterwards i just go home excited and hope to be able to relive this event again next year so i just got back from klab so now it's time to check out what did i purchase my first purchase was from the publisher this is a poetry collection there was a lot of them actually but i picked one that is most connected to me. I actually got a free book. Don't remember where I put it, but this is the book. Anyway, I can't wait to read this during the poetry month. So I say, yes. My next purchase is from the stall, the opposite of the Indonesia publication, which is Gerak Budaya. So Gerak Budaya is known for their uh, non-fiction, uh, when they publish studies and everything, and they're actually quite popular among uh, students of uh, University of Malaya. I used to study there for my grad school before I dropped it. Uh, <laughs> it was quite popular among social science students. We get our reference there and stuff. Um, except that I usually just go to the library because I'm broke. So uh, now I got this, which these two very fascinating uh, nonfiction books. Basically, it's a published research. My first selection was this. It's a study on the transsexual community in Malaysia. And I'm actually curious. I think it is a great insight to the other genders and I wanna know. But my second selection, uh, for Gura is what it means to be a Muslim, which is a study on female Muslim activism in Malaysia. Um, I'll be honest with you, uh, when it comes to the Muslim community in Malaysia, while I love my religion and I have absolute faith in it, the communities, the communities can be really abrasive. And as someone who also have non-Muslim friends, I sometimes find myself embarrassed. Basically, to summarize is that we mean well, but we really suck at expressing it. This is also relates to a very recent event in Malaysia, which was the Blackpink concert. Uh, yes, Blackpink, the Korean girl group, came to Malaysia, had a concert. It was great. Uh, everybody had fun. Uh, I didn't go though. Tickets are expensive and I'd rather spend that money elsewhere. I'm, I'm not a blink, but I'm a fan of their songs. The thing that I saw in this Blackpink thing is that on TikTok, there will be a lot of comments, but basically they're, they're hoping, they're praying for some form of harm. And I'm just like, that is sick. No, if you think that makes you a better Muslim, um, no, if anything, it makes you suck. And I, uh, I don't stand with that kind of behavior and that kind of people. And unfortunately, one of my friends also like shared that sentiment because I actually posted a rant on Instagram, on my personal Instagram, by the way. And um, and then my friends like, are you talking about me? I'm like, why would I talk about you? And then I realized, ah, uh, she. Probably she probably didn't comment on TikTok because I told her that this is what I saw on TikTok But she probably did the same thing elsewhere and I'm like Yeah, when it comes to my friends, I don't post ambiguous stories on social media I will just straight up tell them that hey, uh, I love you, but I really disagree with you right now And I'll just explain why uh, I will probably need to have that conversation with her one day because uh, I it's nagging on me <laughs> So these two books from Gerak Budaya will be extremely helpful and extremely insightful, for sure. This one is from Legacy Oak Heart, which is a publisher that is run by uh, our president of Booktube Malaysia. The artwork is actually made by the wife of 
our president Book Your Mind. But I personally really, really love this artwork. I think all of the artworks of the books that day was great, but I picked this because I wanted poetry books. <laughs> it's a festival gathering indie publications and it is wonderful. Uh, I saw some publications that I recognize, some of the popular ones like Fixie, Do Book, and then I also saw Iman publication and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> If they have it again next year, I for sure will have a bigger budget. I'm gonna buy more books. There's, there's a lot of cute tote bags that day. And I'm like, I should have bought more money. I could have gotten myself a really cute tote bag. Like some of them are really cute and quirky. Like I really want to get them. I wish I could just spend more time buying more books, buy some tote bags, get myself some cute bookmarks. They have some cute bookmarks that day. And I had to like persuade myself to leave because I already have a bunch of bookmarks at home like <sighs> but I'm gonna buy them more for sure next year yeah because bookmarks are not for books they're for collections so uh, anyway thank you guys so much for the book okay so I'll tell you what did not happen <laughs> what did not happen is that my clip got uh, corrupted cut off <laughs> somewhere without me finishing so yeah this is voice over me doing the conclusion because I'm just too lazy to put on my camera. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.